Hey everyone out there, um, I just thought I'd show my stir plate kit that I've built. This was from a company down here on the south coast called Digital Homebrew. Um, I had checked them out on Facebook. They also have a web page that you can have a look at. Um, basically, they're making products such as this and using microprocessor boards. Looks like they print their own boards too from what I can tell. Um, my kit is basically a container, a computer fan and the processor board that they have there. Um, the way I've gone about it, there are many different ways you can do it. This is just the way I did it. There are instructions on their website as a video. I'm just doing this as a review of the product. Um, it's great, it's simple and it's relatively cheap too considering. Um, basically I've just epoxied here four of these. I use them on Grolsch bottles, they're just basically a Grolsch cap. It cost me 20 bucks for a hundred of them. Um, I used some epoxy and stuck the fan down on there so it's sitting like that. And the processor board as you can see down there, I've epoxied that to the side and also drilled holes through there so that you can use the potentiometer knob and put the power in. There's also an LED on this. This particular container I've used, I'm just going to close it up now. This particular container I've used, I've bent the LED up straight in there, which is just another way you can do things. I personally didn't want it exposed because I don't like having to drill more holes than necessary. I mean, I know my holes aren't the best there, but I wasn't particularly bothered as long as it worked. Um, that there's the board. Not much you can see. I've also spun the board upside down because I didn't want to have it exposed if I was playing around in there or I dropped something in there or whatever. Um, they also send a stir bar with the kit right there. And the rear earth magnets there, they're pretty strong. The kit also comes with a power cord too. This is the Aussie one. Just a simple power cord AC adapter. So for 30 bucks you can't really go wrong. Um, that's all it costs because they have the container lying around. You also don't have to chop a hole in the top like that. Oh, I did because I use giant flasks. But um, if you do drill a hole, make sure you space it enough so that when you do have a full flask on there, such as you know a litre and a half, two litres, of wort or whatever it is that you're using to stir and propagate yeast make sure that um, it doesn't touch it because if it does well it's just not going to turn anyway I'll go plug it in and I'll show you how it works all right we just plugged it in Don't worry about the messy bench here we've got the green light on there that says it's go now basically you've got your LED in there now just a word of warning too if you're going to bend the LED like I did make sure you do it gently because if you snap it, you're going to screw the circuit and that'll be the end of it. Um, basically, you just twist your potentiometer and when you get some light, you know that it's about to start. You can have it in various speeds. That there is probably as low as I can get it. You can get it lower. That's about the lowest you can get it, but I wouldn't be going that low for anything. Turn it up and then it's on top speed. I also have a hole drilled inside here. I did have one built in here before and that was my power, but I found that having a hole in the container too helps with the airflow and it doesn't make the lid come up as it drags inside the box. And there we go. Let me turn it down again. So there you go, there's a quick review, quick turn on of it actually working. Um, sorry, I don't have any flask here to actually test it with at the moment, um, but I have made yeast on it and it works well. And yeah, basically two changes I've done to the video, well there's three actually, um, I've cut a hole in the lid which a lot of people do do, I've seen it. Um, I've spun the microprocessor board upside down so that everything is sitting underneath such as the capacitors and everything like that, they're not exposed upright to keep it away from bumping and when it focuses I've also bent the LED upright so that it won't stick out 
all in all good product 30 bucks plus I think it was $12 postage um, I actually met Brooke and her husband the owner of the store very nice people they actually delivered it to me at the Illawarra Brewing Company on Friday because I needed it quick so thanks for that guys um, yeah check them out digitalhomebrew.com